What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Just Jay Sama, and I'm back with another video that nobody really asked for. It's completely unnecessary, and it's about anime. I t Listen, I'm trying to check off all the boxes, my man, but before we get started, make sure to like today's video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and also, if you are subscribed, make sure to turn on those notifications. Guys, not only are only 20% of people getting my my notifications every time i upload but every time that i upload we actually lose 10 subs okay so i'm gonna need y'all to go ahead double check to make sure you're subscribed double check to make sure you're notified and then let's get on with the video Bad and bad So, uh, today we are obviously talking about, you can see the title, uh, Attack on Titan. Now, with the new season coming out next week, it should be coming out December 7th, so this week technically, uh, six days from the uploading of this video. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Attack on Titan and why you should really get into it. Now, I'm a little behind. I'm about seven episodes behind. I need to watch the rest of the last season just so that way I can be caught the hell up. And if you're somebody who reads the manga, obviously this video is not for you. This is more so for my homies who are who haven't really gotten up on the attack on titan train yet who are kind of like ah, i don't really know and this is also for all the homies who have not jumped into anime period this is a great starter anime which actually takes me into my first point it's it's amazing when you start watching this anime you're kind of just like ah, i'm not really into this cartoon type stuff but listen 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 hold up homie let me tell you this is not your regular you know kitty anime i promise you from the first episode it it is hitting blood gore guts that shit is adult my boy let me tell you about the first time i experienced attack on titan i was at my homie daniel's house which if any of you guys know i've talked about daniel multiple times on my on my channel when i used to run with uh you know the league of super awesome gamers all the homies who used to play playstation all-stars professionally that's right you're triggered already so <laughs> anyway uh i remember the first time he introduced me to attack on titan man it was probably one of the most terrifying things i had ever seen and this was the manga and i was like yo these giant people are devouring humans just just for no reason and they're terrifying looking okay like that was one thing that really really hooked me i'm like there's no way that this can continue and guess what it does through the entire show now i will say it kind of fumbles the ball a little bit around season two but i mean if you make it through season one and you're fully invested in more than two out of the five main characters then you should probably give it a ride bro because going into season three it only jumps up even further and to just kind of like pivot and tell you the rest of the story if you're if you are familiar with some anime and you've seen something called full metal alchemist that actually has a lot uh, of i don't want to say influence but the two are easily connected at least to me because when i originally saw full metal alchemist it was the original series it wasn't brotherhood and i had started reading the manga i think i was in middle school or i had just started high school like right around there and uh at the time it felt like this really really case closed type of vibe which is another anime that i i recommend but not to newbies uh it's a detective anime um so it just had a lot of these like back-end plot holes where you're just like oh shit this is really gonna be foreshadowing something for later um and it was about corruption and just like these badass characters man it was just over the top amazing i i love it it's it's in my top seven favorite anime uh and so this actually has a lot of that the conspiracy theories the uh secret society type b like if you enjoy that type of stuff you're really going to enjoy this anime so uh that actually leads me into the second thing was it's just all around like it's beautiful like from the scenery that is made like from the back like if you're somebody who's like not necessarily like uh a, a visual like type of person then this may not be for you but the scenery in the background and the way the characters are drawn the animation is flawless like it's just beautiful it's a it's a artwork to watch so if you're somebody who kind of like gets off and your nipples get a little bit hard <laughs> at some of the visuals trust me this is going to be the show for you because not only that the characters they carry the show yes that's that's fine and dandy that's cool and yes the titans are obviously dope 
but man when you're watching in between the scenes with just like the flickering background and the lighting effects that they have and there's like even talking becomes interesting now i'm not a fan of long periods of talking between characters where they're just kind of explaining a lot of the shit that's going on because i was too busy worried about when's the next titan coming so uh during those parts of explanation it's still really satisfying to watch so you know but that's just something for me and then uh another reason i guess kind of falls in with the third reason is like the scare factor like the horror factor so if you're somebody who's really into horror movies and blood and guts and gore and shit like that this is definitely 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 the show for you i promise you you will not be disappointed every single chance you get there is going to be blood gore guts just all over the place man uh there are a couple of downsides when uh the humans are fighting so that's kind of like less bloody but anytime you see a titan on screen you know somebody's getting clapped and that's 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 a huge suspense factor so it's got horror it's got suspense it's got gore i mean if you're into that type of thing yes this is definitely the anime for you now before i get into the number one reason okay this is just for me personally this is my opinion this is this is not something i pulled off a list online this is something that i haven't really talked to my friends about uh this is more so just for me the music man oh my god there's something about the the season two anthem oh my bruh why is it that this shows anthem slaps harder than the united states national anthem the united states national anthem let's let's be real doesn't even slap bro that shit is whack that shit is cheese okay but this right here, man is on a different level the music uh in between the battle scenes even in these like very very close intimate moments between certain characters and things like that is just the mood fits right and i'm not sure if it's if it's me or you know any of my other softies out there there's been a couple of times where that score hits and they're going into battle and bro you just gotta wipe a tear from your eye like oh it's beautiful and then niggas is getting cut up all over the place but man it is just such an amazing feeling to watch and and listen and hear and that's actually a benefit a lot of people actually talk to me about jay you should read the manga for attack on titan the anime is good but like you should read the manga and that's something that i always give pushback to because the manga doesn't give you that soundtrack. The manga doesn't give you that that intense feeling and uproar of, of these 150, 200, 300, 400 guys rolling into battle against these giant skyscraper-sized humanoid things. Like, it just doesn't give you the same feeling. Yeah, you kind of get the get the little jitters or whatever, but full goosebumps makes your, slaps the shit out of your nuts, bro, when that music kicks in. So... I definitely, definitely recommend this show. Um, with a new season coming up next week, I am personally going to be live reacting to it. I actually have to catch up with the rest of the show. So if you guys are interested in that, maybe I'll consider live reacting to the rest of it. Um, I do want to do like large chunks, like five episodes, five episodes, five episodes. But with it being so close to the launch of the show, uh, it's probably something I should have been doing over the summer. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. So if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments section below also if you are a fan of attack on titan and you feel like i missed something please let me don't know down in the comment section i kind of want to make a revamp to this video before the next season comes out i want to hear what you guys what is your favorite thing about attack on titan and if not if you're new to anime and this is your first time really jumping into it and you're looking for a starter hey man what is it the type of anime that you're into what what's the one that you feel uh like hey if there was an anime like this i would get into it let me know down in the comment section i'm very interested to have this conversation and hear you guys but with all that being said make sure to give today's video a like so that way you guys can show youtube that hey listen stop kicking this man's subs off like we actually like him put him back in the algorithm it'll really get me back in the good graces of youtube also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new because that would oh man that just warms my little heart it really really does and if you're subscribed make sure to turn that notification on so you guys can get notified every time i upload and live stream and post anything uh also follow me all of my, and uh, also follow me on all of my socials you know so if you really really feel like you're not getting notified you can go down there and check so, uh, but until next time, this has been your man, Just Jay Sama. I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.